Welcome back, fellow investors, to Finance Homefront with your hosts, Craig and Bev. Today, we're diving headfirst into what should happen in the financial markets when and if the Federal Reserve decides to lower interest rates. Now, before we delve into the nitty gritty, it's crucial to clarify that I am not here to dispense financial advice. Instead, I am simply sharing my own personal opinions and insights into the market. As always, I urge you to conduct your own research and make informed decisions tailored to your individual financial goals and risk tolerance. In just a short while, the Federal Reserve is poised to make a crucial decision that could send shockwaves through the financial markets. Will they slash interest rates, setting off a bull run like no other? Or will they hold steady, defying expectations? At the end of 2023, Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell hinted at a cautious approach, signaling that a rate cut might not be imminent. The market initially stumbled at this news, but quickly rebounded, with some indicators even reaching record highs. So what's the deal with the markets? What's the Fed's game plan? And how will it impact your investments? Today, we're diving deep into these questions, offering insights you can't afford to miss. But before we begin, let me make one thing crystal clear. I'm not here to give you financial advice. My name is Craig, and alongside Bev, we're your hosts here at Finance Homefront. We're just sharing our personal opinions on the market, and we strongly urge you to conduct your own research before making any investment decisions. Now, let's rewind a bit and recap what's been happening. Back in 2022, central banks worldwide started hiking interest rates to combat surging inflation. This triggered a market crash, especially affecting assets like cryptocurrencies. However, by 2023, inflation seemed to be easing, leading investors to anticipate rate cuts from the Fed. But the Fed remained cautious, citing persistently high inflation levels. Then came the bank increases, prompting the Fed to establish the bank term funding program, injecting more liquidity into the system. This liquidity surge propelled markets upward, despite the Fed's reluctance to lower interest rates. However, long-term interest rates started creeping up, causing some turbulence in the markets. So what would be some of the positive impacts of lowering interest rates by the Federal Reserve on financial markets. First, lowering rates usually stimulate economic growth. Lowering interest rates by the Federal Reserve is primarily aimed at stimulating economic growth. Reduced interest rates encourage borrowing and spending among businesses and consumers. When businesses can borrow money at lower rates, they are more inclined to invest in expansion, research and development, and capital projects. Similarly, lower interest rates make it more affordable for consumers to borrow for big ticket purchases like homes and cars, thereby boosting consumer spending. This increase in business investment and consumer spending contributes to overall economic expansion. Two, increased investment activity. Lower interest rates make borrowing cheaper for investors, encouraging them to leverage their investments to pursue higher returns. Lower borrowing costs also make it more attractive for companies to fund stock buybacks and mergers and acquisitions. Consequently, there tends to be increased investment activity in the stock market as investors seek out opportunities to capitalize on lower borrowing costs and potential returns. Three, rise in asset prices. One of the immediate impacts of lower interest rates is a rise in asset prices across various financial markets. Lower borrowing costs make investing in assets such as stocks, real estate, and commodities more appealing. As investors flock to these higher yielding assets, their prices tend to increase. In the stock market, lower interest rates can lead to higher price to earnings ratios as investors are willing to pay more for future earnings. Similarly, in the real estate market, lower mortgage rates can drive up home prices as demand for housing increases. Four, boost to consumer confidence. Lower interest rates can also have a positive 
psychological impact on consumers and investors, leading to increased confidence in the economy. When the Federal Reserve signals a willingness to lower interest rates, it sends a message that policymakers are committed to supporting economic growth and stability. This can boost consumer confidence, leading to increased spending and investment. Additionally, lower interest rates can reduce the cost of servicing debt for households, providing them with more disposable income to spend and invest. And lastly, stabilizing financial markets. Lowering interest rates by the Federal Reserve can also help stabilize financial markets during times of economic uncertainty or downturns. By making borrowing cheaper, lower interest rates can mitigate the impact of financial shocks and provide liquidity to credit markets. This can prevent a credit crunch and alleviate concerns about liquidity shortages in the banking system. Lower interest rates can also incentivize businesses to refinance existing debt at lower rates, improving their financial health and reducing the risk of defaults. In conclusion, the Federal Reserve plays a crucial role in influencing financial markets through its decisions on interest rates. Lowering interest rates by the Fed can have numerous positive effects on financial markets, including stimulating economic growth, increasing investment activity, boosting asset prices, enhancing consumer confidence, and stabilizing financial markets. However, it's essential to recognize that while lower interest rates can provide short-term benefits, they also come with long-term considerations and potential risks such as inflationary pressures and asset bubbles. Therefore, the Federal Reserve must carefully assess economic conditions and employ appropriate monetary policy tools to achieve its dual mandate of fostering maximum employment and stable prices. Fast forward to today and we find ourselves at a crossroads. The Fed's recent statements suggest a potential shift in policy, but the bond market remains uncertain. Meanwhile, inflation continues to hover above the Fed's target, adding to the complexity. What does this mean for investors like you? Well, it means buckle up, because volatility could be the name of the game for a while. But remember, volatility also brings opportunities for those who are prepared. So as we navigate these uncertain waters, be sure to do your research. And of course, we are here to answer any questions you may have. Like, subscribe and comment below with your thoughts. And if you want to stay ahead of the curve, check out the Finance Homefront's other videos for more in-depth conversations. Thanks for tuning in and we will catch you in the next one.